Welcome, Supercooler Technologies, and thank you for joining us on board with Sierra Circuits. Our pleasure. Thank you. thank you. Can you introduce yourself for me to start? Yeah, my name is Austin Keaton. I am the Director of Strategic Partnerships for Supercooler Technologies Incorporated. Um, I've been with the company for about a year, and uh, I kind of do everything from working with investors, going to our uh, direct manufacturers over in China, um, dealing with uh, Coca-Cola in China as well. So I'm all over the place. Okay. My name is Tiwadeyo Adewale, and um, I am a director of uh, Supercooler Technologies. My office title is executive assistant, but this time I am pretty much involved in every stage of the company. I oversee the development of each and every um, technology we have. Um, and I work with every one of our employees to make sure that everybody's doing good and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, you know, I travel when I need to travel. I, you know, uh, make sure that everything we do is to the standard of what Doug would like it to be and what Coke, which is our biggest client, would, you know, um, like it to be. Uh, when Doug is traveling all over the place, you know, I kind of keep the house grounded <laughs> and make sure everybody is on point, you know. So um, I am involved in everything. So, you know, that's pretty much what I do for the company, yeah. My name is Jeff Persing. I've been with Supercooler Technologies for a little over five years now, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm involved mostly in engineering and research and development. Um, to this point, I've written a lot of software and done hardware design as well. I'm here with Sierra Circuits to uh, go over uh, manufacturing and testing to make sure everything that we release is to the customer's requirements. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for being here. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, so, what is Supercooler exactly? So, Supercooler, what we are, we are a um, precision refrigeration manufacturing company. So, we kind of bring uh, two different worlds together in, in a very cool and unique way of um, refrigeration and then, and then technology. Um, and what you can, you know, a quick definition of super cooling. What is super cooling? Um, so what it is, is you take a drink, like let's say your water, and you would bring it down below its freezing point without allowing it to freeze. Um, so that's what we do. We, we um, build, you can think of a, what we call a glass door merchandiser. So if you were to walk into a convenience store like a 7-Eleven or a Wawa, and uh, you see the cooler there with all of the different drinks in it, like Coca-Cola or Sprite, Dasani waters, and you open that up and you grab a drink. Well, we build the exact same thing, um, but it's for a countertop, a countertop, and um, we attach something on the side of it called a nucleator, and that's what we're very excited about. Is um, and what it does is when you take your beverage out of the glass door merchandiser or the super cooler and you put it on the nucleator and you hit the button and it does this transformation of uh, nucleation. That's what we awesome. Call. Yeah. Cool. How did you come up with that idea? Well, um, in 2009, um, you know, it was in the summer of 2009, um, Douglas Shantich is the name of the inventor and the founder of Supercooler Technologies, which is uh, my husband. Um, he was just completely fed up with, you know, the drinks not cold enough and, you know, pouring your drink over eyes and, you know, everybody knows what happened. It waters down, you know, the fees is not there anymore. And he was just like, you know, I am so done with this. So he decided to just put a couple of drinks in the freezer, you know, just so that I can get colder than, you know, um, you would get in your regular refrigerator. And um, the very first batch of drinks, you know, they all froze. <laughs> and then, you know, we tried it again and um, we were able to um, take out the drinks and they were still liquid and he opened them and, you know, something happened and um, it sloshes and he's like, what is this you know so he was like no you know i i need to know more about this and he started doing all different kind of research so reading stuff about um super cooling and um, he was just like i want to be able to recreate this same action you know all the time without the drink freezing and um, we started on that journey in 2009 and here we are today so that's pretty much it that's really <laughs> cool. and just for a little background on doug our ceo mm -hmm. he has a uh, master's degrees in space space systems engineering and mm -hmm. space systems management oh, yeah. um, and so you know you could say he was on the the front line of the, of the firing room at nasa um, and what he specialized wow. in was liquid oxygen 
Um, you know, and makes it, sense. Yeah, <laughs> and so liquid oxygen was very precise. So if you were off by a degree, or you have a speck of dust in your fuel line um, transporting liquid oxygen back and forth between the shuttle, you know, the whole shuttle would explode. So everything had to be perfect, very, very precise. And that's exactly what's sort of going on inside of our supercooler. We have temperatures inside of that that we are controlling yeah. um, and keeping them extremely precise in order to make sure everything works. So let's talk a little bit more. About the slushy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, one thing that's important, when we say slushy, we don't want people to think uh, like icy mm -hmm. um, or, or slushy that you would get or slurpy that you get from 7-Eleven. Uh, when we say a slush, it's something that is, uh, it's very uh, soft and very drinkable. Um, you would have it with you for dinner or you would take it on the road with you. It's something that you could drink all the time. It, it's not gonna give you a brain freeze, more importantly. Um, this is something that you could just chug it and it would be fantastic. Um, and so, kind of a funny story, we, we work with um, Shaq's brother, his name is Jamal Harrison. And uh, you know, we talk about how, how is refrigeration exciting and why should everyone get involved and why should everybody want uh, a super cooled beverage? Well, the way um, Jamal got involved was Doug met him at a Panera Bread and he had a super cooled drink with him. Mm -hmm. And you know, one thing that you can do is you don't actually need the nucleator in order to make your transformation happen. You can slam it onto something and to get this instant transformation, which is very shocking and surprising if you've never seen it done before. Um, so when he met with Jamal at Panera Bread. He uh, walked up to him and said, hey man, what do you think about this? And slammed it down on his hand and the whole thing, what Jamal will say, went <laughs> that's, what, that's how he likes to describe it. But the whole transformation happened and it turned instantly in front of his eyes from just a regular liquid now into this drinkable slush. And Jamal was just like, I wanna be a part of this. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. That's, that's, that's what I love about this is um, whoever sees this, it's the exact same reaction. Uh, but it's almost, you can, you can almost think that it's fake. It's, it's got to be computer generated. Nothing's ever happens like that. There's never been a transformation that's happened instantane instant instantaneously in front of you. Um, so w when we brought these people to our shop, I did the same thing. I, I took one of the waters out of our super coolers and I smacked it in instantly. The eyes just go wide. They don't, know, they don't know what to think. Was it real? Well, then you, you let them try it for themselves and you have them smack the drink. And yes, it is real. It mm -hmm. happens every single time and it's just mesmerizing. And that's what we sort of love about it is this people get excited. We are getting emotions out of people. Um, and that's really great. How hard was it for you to like come from the idea to the final product? I mean, it's not easy to start a company for sure, but mm -hmm. what were the obstacles that you encountered encountered in your journey? Well, um, I think um, from the beginning, you know, um, it's like nobody has ever done anything in refrigera refrigeration, you know, for a long time, for decades. And refrigeration or refrigerator has just always been the same, you know, um, nothing changes even though they try to sell you new things, you know, maybe every five years, but it's pretty much the same thing, you know. So, you know, um, at a time, we were in um, Charlotte, North Carolina, and um, we have um, a couple of um, prototypes that he had, you know, put together and they work. We were doing a series of testing and um, going to different, doing presentations, you know, telling people, a lot of people loved it. They loved the idea, but it's like, you know, this is a refrigerator. This is not gonna be a $29.99 product, you know. Um, so it was hard getting it started because, a lot of people fell in love with the idea, with the technology and what it does, but nobody knows how to move forward with it, you mm -hmm. know? So um, we decided to move to Orlando in 2012, 13? I think it was 11, yeah, 11 or 12. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Um, <clears throat> And um, we met with uh, Newgate Capital, which are the people that would help you bring in investors or, you know, um, and we started talking, you know, to people doing series of presentations. We would travel, you know, all over the place and just showing it to um, people. Still, a lot of people loved it. I mean, the excitement on people's faces, but the fact is, it's a refrigerator, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you 
you know, what are we going to do with this? This is not as seen on TV, you know. In this product, if you're going to finish this product, you're going to sell it, you're going to be looking at, you know, like three to five hundred dollars, you know, yeah. and also to get it started, you know, what are you going to do? How are we going to market this? How are we going to sell this? It was hard to find people that actually think that we can do it you know and at that time it was just myself and Doug which is hard you know and um, not too long after that Jeff um, got on board with us and um, we kept doing presentations on presentations just looking for that person that can you know say okay wherever you guys want to go you know I'm gonna go with you which was very hard so you know um, meeting a lot of like engineers that are very smart from other companies and you know like you know where where do you come from you know so there was a lot of challenges people believing that this technology actually belongs to Doug and you know that he's been working on this for a couple of years and um, starting to wanted to start a technology company or refrigerator company in Orlando was not easy at all you know and um, eventually we were able to like you know get to know the right people and of course you know uh, we were able to get into coca-cola in Atlanta and that was just the the starting point of everything you know mm -hmm. by the time we have coke on you know by our side people were beginning to like believe more and were able to raise more money um, to pay people because then we need to hire people you know we need to travel go to China to source a couple things that we're gonna need yeah so I would probably say one of our biggest um, obstacle in the beginning was just finding people to believe that yes you know it does not matter where you come from your background doesn't matter you know once you have that thing you know you can do it so totally. that was hard yeah but it's exciting it, it is absolutely <laughs> exciting like I said people loved it I yeah. mean you know Jeff as a very young guy and you know he pretty much quit everything and said you know I'm coming on you know he doesn't have to do that yeah. but he saw you know it's the thing is about what we do is like how how do people get excited about a refrigerator you know but it's because of what we do we we're not giving you your typical everyday refrigerator no we, you know we are doing a whole lot of other things what we're doing goes beyond drinks you know it goes into food it goes into fruits and vegetables you know so we're doing a variety of things you know we're super calling a variety of things you know precision you know we have to be precise with everything we do and that's what get people excited you know um, global food waste we're saying we can reduce that you know greatly mm -hmm. um, giving your drink at its optimal taste you know we're saying we're gonna provide and people taste it people feel it you know but it was hard to like say okay you know I'm gonna put my money on it you know? <laughs> it was hard but we uh, a lot of people were excited a lot of young people that absolutely would never think that they would be part of a refrigerator uh, refrigeration company were mm -hmm. like yes I want to be part of this you know it's because of how exciting the technology is and that's why we were able to grab people like Jeff people like Austin and some other you know um, smart young people that we have around us it's just because the technology is very cool super cool <coughs> yeah. that's just what it is Tell me about the founder of super cooler technologies yeah uh, Doug Sunchitz our CEO and founder you know he was someone that always brings energy into the room you know when Doug is there um, he's going to be that big person that everyone wants to put their eyes on him and really wants to quiet down and listen to. Um, you know, one of the things I loved about Doug the most is his absolute drive and his passion to make this work no matter what mm -hmm. it took. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, we started talking with Coke back in 2014, we're now in 2017, that the, the whole partnership with them basically <laughs> took three years of perseverance, of just going forward no matter how hard it was, no matter what obstacle was placed in front of us, and he was always out there driving this whole ship for us, and um, I really appreciate him for that. It's, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, um, I, you know, I could go on and on um, <laughs> about, you know, just how great of a person and of a leader um, Doug is, you know, but um, to sum everything up, I would say, um, if Doug is gonna drive any car, you know, I would advise everybody to get on board with him because he's definitely going somewhere, you know. It's like the one thing that um, people say when they come into our uh, office or our shop, um, which reflect on Doug so much is people walk in and they reverse, the very first thing people would say is, oh my gosh, I love the diversity 
you know I love the diversity I love the energy you know that you guys have and that's what Doug brings in you know Doug sees everyone he doesn't see you as you know uh, maybe you're too young or you know he doesn't see you know your color or whatever he brings everybody in you know and just like you know just gives us the energy to just keep going like you know you can do this you know regardless of your background or where you come from you know he sees the passion and you know like <clears throat> one of the things that he always said that you know he would say stuff like you know years back and those things would happen like two years ago I was like oh my gosh Doug said this you know you know he just he sees it you know he sees things in his mind and is like whatever is in his mind he's gonna bring it to you know he's like I I'm seeing this I was like Doug is this real so, no I am seeing this we're gonna do this you know and that's what he sees that's his passion that's his drive and he just sees that in everybody that works for super mm -hmm. cool technologies old young you know and he just keeps everybody going his energy it is absolutely insane you know when he walks in the room everybody knows it's about to be a good day <laughs> you know? yeah so now can you talk to me a little bit about the technology yeah, so what we are uh, what we're working with with Sierra Circuits right now is uh, what we call our nucleator board, uh, and that's the device that with the red button that you press uh, that makes that wonderful show mm -hmm. out of the slushing of the beverage. Mm -hmm. um, and right now specifically, we're working with uh, Coca Cola, and what's really exciting about that is we had a really short development cycle on that. We had to get a lot done in a very small amount of time. So when we needed uh, changes, we needed them quickly. Um, we've had, you know, we ran into a number of design revisions uh, that we've had to change uh, based on uh, uh, requirements such as uh, uh, UL requirements. We had uh, a lot of things to look after because this is, a, this is almost a new application. Uh, we've never really, the, the world really hasn't had a device that was built for this. So um, you have uh, compliance specifications that are uh, a little bit, uh, not undefined, but have to be uh, researched and cross-checked a lot. So there was a lot of going back and forth with compliance, um, needing new boards for them to test. Uh, uh, requests from coca-cola requests from uh, our own engineers to to uh, to change things uh, again what we do the to create the the slush is almost a, a trade secret i would like mm -hmm. to say but um, other things uh, working with coca-cola's uh, look and feel and industrial design to make sure that uh, we were able to make everything as bright as they wanted to be able to make sure that we were able to to create the kind of experience that we all want to be out there uh, was very exciting. Uh, with Sierra Circuits, uh, we were able to do a number of board revisions and have them in hands, in everybody's hands, uh, very quickly. Uh, kind of most excitingly, uh, even maybe just about a month ago, uh, it, was, it was getting to the point of where it was final call everything had to be correct everything had to be within specification and uh, last minute changes were needed so we called up Sierra Circuits this was actually my first time personally talking with uh, Markra uh, at Sierra Circuits and I didn't know him I just told him we need boards as fast as possible we need them next day mm -hmm. um, and so instantly we all got started working. There was a lot of involvement, um, both from SCTI mm -hmm. and Sierra Circuits in, in getting them in our hands, I think, in, I believe in about two days. And so once that was all proofed out, um, we ended up, uh, here we are in Sunnyvale, mm -hmm. California, right? Mm -hmm. um, we got to come into the, into the assembly house, into the fabrication house, got to see how everything works. It was really, really exciting for me as, uh, as a designer and mm -hmm. engineer uh, to see how everything was made. Um, a lot of uh, feedback and involvement. Uh, right now, we're actually doing something kind of new in testing of the boards, both with uh, uh, 
flying probe testing with components being placed. Uh, very, very exciting to see uh, that kind of new technology being applied to our new technology. Um, and uh, figuring out test procedures, functionally testing all the boards before they leave. Uh, it's, it's really exciting because with, with a thing like this um, that hinges on consumer experience uh, for its success and really that's our goal right our goal is to make people excited mm -hmm. about what we're doing about mm -hmm. the end result about uh, right this board mm -hmm. nobody will ever see this mm -hmm. but it has to work mm -hmm. perfectly so Sierra Circuits said okay we'll let you come in and, and test <laughs> and uh, uh, you know train our folks exactly what is necessary and I mean to, to me that uh, that it's been an incredible experience so far I've, en I've enjoyed the time that I've spent uh, in the valley underneath the uh, beautiful California fluorescent lights <laughs> uh, and uh, I got to work with a lot of, of really great people and uh, again it just uh, you know seeing all of this seeing seeing how it's made and 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 holding this yeah in my hands really uh, makes me excited for what's to come this summer. Question we all want the answer. When can we get a super cooler in our house? In your house? So <laughs> yeah, in, in your own home, you know, looking into 2018 is when we expect to mm -hmm. launch what we call the S1, which would be your countertop uh, super cooler, and you could super cool your own drinks in your home. Um, now looking at 2017, the, the summer for us you know, we're looking at placing machines all over the United States. Mm -hmm. um, to, if you just visit your local convenience store, you would, you were gonna start seeing these super cooling machines. Um, and then moving into, you know, 2019, um, there's going to be lots of portable options. So where not only can you get this in the convenience store, you know, 2018, you can get it in your home. Mm -hmm. Well, 2019, you're gonna be able to take it to the beach with you, a soccer game, a football game, anywhere. So super cooling really is going to take over the world and it's going to become something that's very natural, just like we're used to the refrigerator and the microwave, all these things are normal. Mm -hmm. Super cooling is going to become normal yeah. for all of awesome. us. Great. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today, chilling with me today. Yeah, absolutely. And with Sierra <laughs> Circuits. Um, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. We fun. enjoyed it. Yeah. A lot of fun. Thank you.